About 90 years ago, it is interesting to say that we did not know much about the existence of most of the universe around us. Someone who has made a great contribution to our current knowledge today is Edwin Hubble. He was an American astronomer who was one of the most significant observational cosmologists of the 20th century. In the 1920s, Hubble discovered that the red shift of a galaxy increased as its distance increased as well. Thus, the more distance a galaxy is, the larger its red shift is. These red shifts that Hubble observed are cosmological shifts, meaning that they are caused by the expansion of space. Hubble revealed that galaxies are retreating away from us with a velocity that is relative to their distance from us. This would mean that the further away a galaxy is from us is the faster that it will recede, whereas galaxies that are closer in distance travel away from us at a slower speed. Red shifts are not caused by the objects that are moving within the universe, but instead the expansion of space-time between us and these objects. This is known as Hubble's Law. The red shift or recessional velocity is equal to the Hubble constant multiplied by distance. Let's say that the chocolate chips within a giant cookie were spaced evenly at 1 centimeter apart, just as the galaxies within our universe are spaced apart. After baking the cookie for about 10 minutes, it will expand and the chocolate chips will now be spaced at 3 centimeters apart. This is equivalent to how the galaxies within our universe continuously expand away from one another at a constant speed per unit. Though, what is amazing about the interpretation of Hubble's law is that no matter where we are located, everything within the universe will see the same relationship of expansion since galaxies tend to move away from one another at a constant speed per unit. As everything within our universe tends to see the same relationship of expansion, Hubble's law supports the Big Bang model, which suggests that the universe was created at one time. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe below for more short videos about astronomy.